What's going on everybody? Justin here with Everything Aquarium. Back with another cool aquarium video. Today's video we're going to do a product review on the new light for the 3.7 gallon Imagitarium cube. This is going to be the first official upgrade for this cube. Now we're going to jump right into it, but I warn you, this tank is kind of in a crash right now. So uh, be prepared for that. We'll talk about that as well, but let's get into the review for right now. So this light that we have right here, this is going to be the Night Crew Clip-On Fish Tank Light, or as they stated, the Night Crew Fish Tank Clip-On Light. Um, that's how it's posted on Amazon at least. This is the seven inch, um, seven watt version. And uh, before I jump into it too much, um, here's a look at the tank. It's pretty cloudy and a lot of the plants have died or melted is what I should say. And we're starting to have some uh, pretty bad melt over here. So we're kind of letting the bacteria bloom do its thing. Um, the light has nothing to do with that. Um, it is growing plants very well, especially these floaters, as you can see right here. These floaters have extremely nice roots and they are doing very well. So anyways, we're here to talk about the light. Let's talk about the light. This is an Amazon light that I picked up for $12.99 right now is what it's on sale for. And it's a fully adjustable um, movement wise because it is on a adjustable arm here. And it is a clip on light, as you can see through here. It has this clip and it fits right on the back of this um, tank here. And it has this adjustable thumb screw. So if we can just loosen that up real quick, we'll pull it off and I'll show you. And on the inside, it has just this little clamp style and you can slide that right over the edge of your tank um, put it where you want it tighten it down and it's pretty snug not going to move around too much this is nice um, I enjoy the arm you can move it out and lower if you wanted to say you had a tank that was farther out or I like it up higher personally that's why I have the arm completely bent here at almost a 90 degree angle that way it fits pretty symmetrical to the edge of the um the rim on the tank if that makes sense also if for some reason you wanted to you could clip this onto the side of your tank and have it going horizontally or you could take it off the mount completely and set the light down by itself on there um don't recommend that because you'll get uh you'll get the light too close to the tank and have an algae problem so start off with it about right there Let's talk about the features. As you can see in the glare, so I don't have to point you directly to the light. We've got three, six, nine, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18. And we've got 18 LEDs, three of which are blue. Um, the features are you have white, off, and blue. Pretty straightforward and simple on that. White is where you're gonna obviously get your growth. Blue is kind of just for your looks. And as you can see here, we have a nice long cord, which runs down all the way to an adapter down there, plugged in to my power strip. Uh, don't mind the spaghetti. So yeah, you can uh, put this on a timer or a smart plug, like I have my light for my other tank here that has an algae infestation. Um, I don't currently have this one on a timer just because I'm controlling it manually right now. Um, just because that's what I'm choosing to do. Um, doing some experiments with that as well. So it's a very little thin profiled light, which I enjoy. I don't like a big bulky light. I like the very nice thin ones. It's a cleaner look and, uh, it seems to just look better in my opinion. The light itself does give off a decent amount of heat, surprisingly from the top. Um, the bottom, not very much. And you don't have to worry about it either way because it's pretty far off the tank. That arm when you do have it extended all the way like I do keeps it about a good mm, four or five inches away from the from the surface of the water um, mine's obviously a little bit higher off because it does have uh, a little bit of a low water level right now as for growing plants I would say it's pretty good I mean it's growing these easy plants this is some pogo stem and uh, stilatus octopus and basic crypts and uh, so, you know, some Amazon frog bit, and I also have some Anubias in here as well, which is growing pretty good, but 
I don't want to give it a 100% rating on growing just because this tank is having some melt and these plants aren't completely through that stage yet. Um, and with the melt comes, you know, other things, whatever, ammonia breakdowns and stuff like that. Or, excuse me, ammonia and uh, breaks down and other things. And the filtration in this tank isn't very good right now. So we need to work on some things to get a complete accurate growth level on plants. But as of right now, from what I can see, it does seem to be doing pretty good, especially with this frog bit here. You can see those uh, roots going way down there. And even some baby hair roots shooting out, as you can see there. Sorry for the reflection. Um, so overall, I'd have to give the light, I'd probably give it a seven and a half um, out of 10. And that being, you know, big part of that is price. It's a very cheap light, um, which I enjoy cheap things. A lot of you do as being in a hobby, you know how expensive things can be. And it's nice to have cheap every once in a while. So that being said, like I said, seven and a half out of 10 isn't bad especially for a cheap light like this. Um, it's got a very nice clip-on feature. It fits well on a tank. It's got that nice adjustable arm. The only con to it is I did, I do wish it had a, some more colors in it. Uh, the spectrum as in, you know, white, or excuse me, as in some greens and some reds, uh, maybe purples or whatever. But again, it's $12.99. I'm not gonna complain too much. Also, I wish it had a built-in timer setting on here instead of just uh, click like that. Because I like to go to work and I turn this on before I leave. And I wish I could set it for, you know, six hours and then it turn off by itself. But I have to come home and turn it off manually. Again, that is because it's a cheaper light. More of an entry-level light. Um, definitely a great beginner light for sure. It's probably a little too much light for this tank. Um, just again, because it's not dimmable. There's not too many settings I can play with on here. But other than that, 7.5 isn't bad for this light. I, uh... I think it's a, a good rating and pretty fair to it. it uh, I've had it for about a month now with no issues. It turns on and off every single time perfectly. And no errors or anything with it yet. So, yeah, guys, I figured I wanted to just give you that quick review on this light. You should check it out. I'm not affiliated or anything with it, but I will leave a link down in the comment or down in the description. If you want to check it out and give it a purchase, try it out. Um, let me know what you think. Pretty good light. So anyways, guys, that's it for now. Leave a comment. Subscribe if you can. We're super close to 1,000. That's my goal by the end of the year. So if we could hit that, that'd be sweet. Um, leave a like, share, whatever you guys want to do. Leave a comment about anything you want. So, yeah, guys, that's it for now. Next up on our video list, we got some cool things going on with this guy. This tank. Excuse me. So, thanks for watching, guys. We'll see you later.